welcome to News Feed on Trust TV. I am Sumaya Abubakar, taking you through the stories trending online that people are talking about and sharing around the globe today. President Buhari rocks military uniform to attend army parade. Nigerians stranded as drivers conveying them out of Sudan refuse to continue journey allegedly because they were not paid. Buhari's government shouldn't be blamed for not bringing back all the Chibok girls, says Femi Adeshina. And the reports claiming wife of football Ashraf Hakimi wanted half of his assets amid divorce, but everything was in his mother's name has been slammed as false. Now, top of what's trending today, we have President Muhammad Buhari who rocks military uniform to attend army parade. Now, President Buhari attended the Nigerian Army Troopian and Presentation of Colors Parade 2023 on April 27th, dressed in a ceremonial military uniform. President Buhari, who is a retired Army General, arrived at Eagle Square venue of the parade at about 10.18 a.m. in a company of his Chief of Staff, Professor Ibrahim Gambari, the Chief of Defense Staff, General Loki Irabo, the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Farouk Yahya, and the Inspector General of Police, Usman Baba, are in attendance. Also in attendance were former Nigerian leaders, Yakubu Gowon and Goodluck Jonathan. Chief of Air Staff, Air Marshal Ola Dayo uh, Amau, Chief of Naval Staff, Rear Admiral Awal Zubairo Gambo, Senate President Ahmed Lawan are among the dignitaries in attendance. An artisan commented, though I don't like Buhari, but honestly, the uniform suits him well. A guy said that rank on his shoulder is called Field Marshal, the highest rank in the world as far as military army is concerned. That is five-star general there. And another said, once a soldier, always a soldier. Old soldier never die. Now, so what's trending? We have Nigerians who are stranded as drivers conveying them out of Sudan refused to continue journey allegedly because they were not paid. Now, drivers evacuating Nigerians from Sudan stopped in the middle of the road and refused to continue the journey over non-payment of their fees. The Nigerians, most of whom are students, are escaping the unrest in the troubled country. The Nigerian government announced that buses have been sent to evacuate the student. However, in several videos shared online, the student cried out that they are now stranded in Khartoum and other cities in Sudan. The student lamented that the drivers of the buses have vowed not to continue the journey if they are not paid by the Nigerian government. Abike Dabiri speaks after drivers evacuating Nigerian students from Sudan refused to continue the journey over non-payment you know, for their services. She said, whatever issues have been resolved. Meanwhile, the Nigerian students are claiming it wasn't resolved and the buses only started moving because they submitted their passports to the drivers. They said that they won't get their passports back if payment is not made to the drivers. Take a look at the clip. Before we started this journey, we have to go on several fighting. Can you even imagine that we are stuck in this desert for four and for five hours? We don't know who we are. Like we don't know the situation we are. We don't have what our money has finished. Can you even imagine? And they said they, 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 buy, they, they buy good drivers. They said they are not moving their bus. They said they are not moving their buses because they don't give them money. Which time I'm asking to do this one? Look at this. We are stuck in desert. We don't even have compass. We don't know where we are. A guy asks, why is this country like this? How much is it that is hard for them to bring and pay the drivers, yet they are siphoning billions of dollars every month? A lady said, other countries are using plane. It's reached our turn. They send bus, and on top of that, they didn't pay the drivers. Nigeria will always stand out. A guy defended, do you guys even know if the drivers asked for more millions against what was agreed, knowing fully well that people are desperate? It's disappointing how the youths just jump into conclusion on social media. The issue has been resolved, yes, but do you know the genesis of the issue? How can I even pay you full money knowing fully well that you might not carry out the mission? Or maybe I just want to have evidence of successful completion of the tax. Next on what's trending, we've got special advisor of the president, of course, on media and publicity, Femi Adeshina, who has said that President Muhammadu Buhari's administration should not be held responsible for not rescuing all the kidnapped Chibok girls. Appearing on a channel's television program on Thursday, April 27th, Adeshina said Buhari's administration rescued some of the girls at a time the trial was called, even though they were abducted in a previous administration. He said it is like a self-accounting when 
you are exiting a position of public office to be humble enough to know that you have not done everything perfectly. In 2015, we knew where Nigeria was. Today, we know where we are. 267 were uh, spirited away. About 75 escaped immediately and over 100 have been returned by the administration. But then, if a government came in when the trail was already cold and you couldn't trace where the girls were taken, you can't then blame it solely for not bringing them back. That would not be quite right. Dachi girls were taken under the administration and within the week they were recovered, except maybe five, including Leah Sharibu, sadly. Adeshina also said that Buhari's government was proactive to tackle the kidnap at the time it occurred, adding that the incoming administration should take up the responsibility to recover the girls. An artisan wrote, one of the things Buhari used to canvass for votes was the insecurity in good luck Jonathan's tenor. He used the Chibok girl's story to prove his point. People believed he will curb insecurity because he has a military background. Unfortunately, the insecurity problems in Nigeria now is much more enormous than it was during GEJ's. Nigeria really retrogressed under his administration, and that is a fact. A lady asked, which government should we blame then? And another lady said, don't worry, Tinubu will bring the remaining ones back. Well, we hope so. Next on What's Trending, we have a trending photos of theatre art students being inducted into their school. Now, photos of first and second year students of the Department of Theatre at Chukwemeka Odumegu Ojoku University, formerly Anambra State University, being inducted into their department on Tuesday, April 25, 2023, has gone viral. The photos show the students dressed in apparel that portray them as chief priests and priestesses. The university shared the photos on its Facebook page with the caption, Congratulations to the 100 level and 200 level students of the Department of Theatre at of the Chukwemeka Odumegu Ojoku University Anambra State on their initiation and induction into the department. The Department of Theatre Arts in the university community is known for offering academic programs and practical training in various aspects of cultural and theatre. The department is seen as a family and today they have had their anticipated initiation. Once again, congratulations to the inductees. An artisan commented, this feels like an initiation. Another said, this is beyond induction, but nobody told them. And a guy wrote, I see some comments and I'm laughing. Like, don't joke with theater. Our theater mostly involves African total theater, which includes folktale, rituals, rites, storytelling, etc. So for you to be able to practice that, you need to be inducted into the art. Theater is one of the only holder of African history and tradition at the moment. So put some respect, okay? Now let's take a short break. And when we come back, you will see why men cheat according to a seer. Stay tuned. Welcome back. It's News Feed. Now, celebrity Sia Bright in Dibuwa lists reasons why men cheat on her Instagram page. Take a look at what she had to say. This story is about men cheating. If you marry a man or a woman that is not your husband, like Adam was meant for Eve, that marriage cannot last no matter what. Another thing is, if you marry a man that is 100% over sexually active, and you are not measuring up to that level sexually, and the man is not spiritual, he will cheat. Another thing is if a woman does not give a man peace, a cantacaros woman, you know the Bible talked about her, if a man now go out and he see a lady that smile and give him peace, my dear, he will leave you. Another thing is, if the man is a man that does not have a mind of his own, another thing is a man who has friends that cheat on their wives, and he doesn't have a mind of his own. The tendency for him to cheat you is there. Someone asked, please, I want to know how to give a man peace and the thing to do to give a man peace. Do women also need peace too? Or is it only a man that deserves it? I just want to know. A lady said, no matter how good, respectful, submissive and supportive you are to a man, he will still cheat. No long story. Another said, the only thing that will stop a man or a woman from cheating is the fear of God. Know this and have peace.
<laughs> Next on what's trending is the suspected Yahoo boys who confront Islamic cleric for producing a non-potent soap for his colleague in their daily struggle to fleece people of their hard-earned money. Take a look at the confrontation. <laughs> You rip me, 500k. So ya will any, so ya will any, ah. You rip me, ah. Say, ah. I pass it. I pass it. I pass it. I pass it. The guy said, so the soap is for you to use and scam someone's hard earned money. Both of you should be behind bars. A lady wrote, this is all shade of wrong. They need to arrest those boys. They don't have any right to beat him. They should have taken him to the police station. Another lady said, the things we are now bold to post on this social media is alarmingly, honestly. Next on What's Trending, we have the reports claiming Hiba Abuk, the Spanish actress and wife of football, uh, footballer Ashraf Hakimi, wanted half of his assets amid divorce, but everything was in his mother's name has been slammed as false. According to the African report, the story is not based on reality and it perfectly illustrates the results of an MIT study published in 2018, which found that fake news spreads faster than real information. Investigative journalist Rain Bosmade dug into the rumor and how it started before concluding that it had no elements of truth. Ryan writes that it started with a tweet published by the Ivorian journal First Mag. This online media platform is a regular offender when it comes to dissemination of fake news and seems to focus more on comedy than journalism. French journalist and sports reporter Gilles Verdes also spoke out against the rumors, stressing that they are fake news and it wouldn't be possible for Hakimi to put the property in his mother's name, not in Spain, not in Morocco, not in France, he said. Also, Hakimi's mother has refuted the story, but this has not stopped the initial report from being circulated and debated. Many opined that she refuted it to protect her son. From a legal standpoint, the news is not credible because hiding one's asset from one's spouse is an act of fraud. In the majority of Europe countries, including Spain, Germany, Italy and France, where the player has lived successively, there are two types of matrimonial regimes. Marriage in community of property, which implies that everything acquired during the marriage by one of the spouses is shared in case of divorce, and that of the separation of property, which assumes that the non-division of property is stipulated in the marriage contract. An artisan said, sons of Adam and brothers of Hakimi, where art thou? <laughs> A guy wrote, let me call my mama to transfer back my 2K that I have been saving with her. And a lady added, and everyone without a single piece of sand to their names fought and argued away their time. <laughs> Lastly, onto a funny video of a dog daring a hen. Take a look. Playing a game of whack fuck here. Whack fuck. <laughs> well, that poke did the trick. And that is all on Newsfeed today on Trust TV. Follow us and subscribe to all our social media platforms, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter. Bye.